Okay, this is a stager. I want to explain a simple workflow of this software. And then we are going to explain all of its settings. As you can see, this is a 3D environment of our stager. And as you can see, we have, we can go to the library or we can go to the started asset. We have a lot of assets here that you can simply insert them. Or you can, in, from here, you can insert your, uh, import your 3D scene, 3D model, or in a light image that you can import it. I will explain that. Or you can use uh, simple things from here. For example, a table. You can simply click and drag them or double click to insert it. As you can see, this is our 3D model. And then you can import any other <clears throat> simple model there. As you can see, it is snapped to other objects automatically. Nice. And we have a simple default lighting. And as you can see, if you select any object, this is a scene manager. You can manage your light, your object, your material, anything that you select here. From <clears throat> here, we have an actions and its properties appear here, then you can change them. And this is timeline, I'll explain it more. Another tab, these are tools for, for editing uh, in a 3D viewport that I will explain them. And all of these tools for camera, one by one, don't worry. Another tab, this is a model, another tab is material. You can simply give simple material to any object. Just click and drag to object that you want. Nice. And as you can see, this is a material, for example, this. Then you can change the material type or, for example, this object. Hmm, this is one object that we have or you can assign another material to that very simple nice and then you can change the hdri lighting studio for example if you want to you can double click that and as you can see we change the lighting of our environment with this hdri image and you can also import any hdr image from uh, image as a background so for background uh, image as a light it means hdri or 3D model, your own 3D model. I want this room. Or <clears throat> default lighting, you can insert, for example, this. And as you can see, you can import environment image that you want. <clears throat> okay. These are environment stage. It means it has everything. I don't want that. Just I want to insert these lights, these HDR material and the lights. I will explain the physical light, environment stage, and environment lights. First, environment lights. It means <clears throat> it means there are HDR image. Nice. Okay, as you can see, we have you can change HDR light, and then we need a background image to match for example i want to place the main purpose of this software is placing your 3d asset to the 2d image like this for example i want to bring our table to up uh, office background and as you can see it's there but it does not match it this software does this automatically for you and uh, another tool here is a match image. You just click, it set a camera uh, to your 3D object, create lights and match camera perspective. I will explain all of them. Just hit OK. In this case, I just want to explain uh, workflow of this software. And then, and as you can see, it automatically match the uh, size, not size, but the camera angle and the lighting of them. You can just simply scroll that don't rotate it very much 
but you can match it here. Mm, now I like it. At the last things, and as you can see, it creates a light for you here. It's in environment light, camera. Hmm. In other scene, you can create other lights or you can add light. At the last things that in this software is, as you can see, you can change the size. Just I want to explain. Uh, <clears throat> as you can see here, we have a lighting, ground, background, lighting. So it creates some light for us that you can choose them and simply change the sitting of that. And as you can see, you can click and drag. The last main tab here is a design and the render. It's very simple. You can change your render sitting here, rate race or real time. Or edit cities, I will explain that. And you can um, export the, everything that you want. Just hit render and it rendered the scene for you or you can choose ray trace for nice and as you can see it's simply render is finished and this is our render this is an, a real time render that we can see in the scene but the final order render is ray trace we need more quality for our render create shadows everything as you can see nice <clears throat> you can see the actual size here waiting for render that okay as you can see because of the size of our image it takes to time and depend on your uh, pc uh, pc it's depend on the power of your system and as you can see it's rendering and rendering and create a shadow, create a reflection, uh, fit to screen, as you can see, it's a final render that you can change. It. Okay, and then it's automatically save it on your PC. And here you can cancel it at any time that you want and bring back to uh, design. Very simple. As you can see, the workflow of this software is very easy, but you have to know some other settings that a little new complex sets but easy I have to explain it uh, let's go to another video hello my friends to continue these tutorials on YouTube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release